So what's up? So this one's going to be about, I saw Quincy Jones talking to TMZ about R. Kelly. And he was acting very cryptic and he used the word power. And I'm cracking up when I see people like his ilk and these other uh, artists speaking out against R. Kelly now because it's fast on the bandwagon when they could have really said something. Quincy Jones can't be trusted. Yes, he's one of the greatest important producers, arrangers, and associations, what have you, who he associated with. But how can you trust somebody that turned it back on Michael Jackson in death? He's been uh, spoken ill of the man in passing, and he dropped stuff about Richard Pryor, Martin Brown, and Marvin Gaye last year. So when someone is down, he feels the need to get senile and start talking. Now I'm going to say it like this. I don't know what's going to happen with the R. Kelly case. You know, it's not looking too good for him. But I feel his musical legacy speaks for itself. But I'm going to say this. Quincy Jones benefited from working with R. Kelly because uh, Heaven's Girl, which was a four-part harmony with R. Kelly, Charlie Wilson, uh, Aaron Hall, and Ronald Isley, was on Quincy Jones' Juke Joint album and was prominent on other features. The song Slow Jams, which is on Juke Joint, which was written by Rod Temperton, has the line, give me, SWV sings the line, give me everything R. Kelly sings. So he's going to sit there and say, oh, everybody knew it. He goes, well, that makes you an accessory if you're going to say that. Also, R. Kelly's former manager, Barry Hankerson, who had R. Kelly exclusively when he first signed, the Winans were on Quincy Jones's Quest label, distributed by Warner Brothers. R. Kelly was on Payday, Extra Mile, and he also did a remix for Vicky Winans, Don't Throw Your Life Away, just on Quest, Association of Quincy Jones. So Quincy Jones has had some form of association of knowing about R. Kelly for 25 plus years. So to sit here and act like, oh, that you're going to see this now is funny time. But you can't trust the fakeness of Quincy Jones or John Legend or any of those others in that business because they're fake and fraudulent. And I'm not saying this to defend anything that's going on with R. Kelly, but that this, you know, things turn out to be as they are. But I'm making a point about they benefited from his music, his creativity. They all did. They all were in support at these award shows when he was bestowed. So now it's fashionable to act like, oh, we're going to distance ourselves. And you can't trust that industry. It's very fake. And Quincy's one of the big, bigger ones that does this. So I, I look at it and I say, look, did you not benefit from R. Kelly's talent, and the greatness of his pen game on your records? So now you're going to act like, oh, you weren't there. Just like when Stevie Wonder gave R. Kelly um, a songwriter award. The one of one of the um, BET one of those award shows. John Legend was front and center. So if you were so appalled, why were you sitting there? Why did you clap? You so appalled. See, I call them all out. They fake. They fake. You know, I expect uh, white artists like Gaga and Celine all that to turn. But the black artists who've known and they were down with R. Kelly. Now all of a sudden they're like, oh, they're new. No. The pen ain't there, and basically, uh, the white ran labels, the Jewish labels, the Italians, the ones who run the business, they telling you to step away, play ghost. That's what's up. There's, there's the theory, that's the reality, you know. So now you get someone like Quincy Jones, he'll speak on black folks, but he won't say nothing about white folks. Why? Because he got to cover his own behind in his tracks. And they all do it. John Legend gets busted with a picture with Harvey Weinstein. He has, he plays Ghost. No. Because the big daddy tell him, you got to go run back to Massa. And it's fashionable to put somebody black when they're going through something. And I'm not condoning anything with R. Kelly, but I do think he's one of the greatest artists ever, and I always will. But I don't condone actions that are this deep. So we'll see how it all plays out. But at the same time, I don't like the fakery and act like you don't remember and you got amnesia. 
when you benefited from said people and you were in their company and you was clapping and grinning and shucking. I am not with this fakery. So that's my take about that. For free, leave them comments, hit that subscribe, and I'm out.